making the traps to go up on the ceiling here. This is a standard rock wall slab. It's 1200 by 600, 30 mil thick. And uh, we're going to use some bags made by a company called uh, uh, Ready Traps, uh, which is the fabric cloth bag goes over the top and they're provided with these little corner pieces. But to make it easier to hang, we've cheated slightly by uh, cutting these little wooden battens to run down the sides and across the back at top and bottom. And we're going to use those to screw in some eyelets and hang it on some strings. That's the theory. So um, the trick here to stop it all falling apart when you try and put it in the bag is to use the sellotape to uh, hold it all together. He says, sticking his fingers together. It's only going across the, uh, to the, the top to hold it together, so it's not going to affect the acoustics. But it certainly makes it a lot easier to put together. So we've already done the other end, so the, uh, the next thing is to put the bag on and we found a, a handy little trick to make that easier is to use a bin liner. The reason we do that is that the fibres from this rock wool tend to stick to the fabric and it's really difficult to get off. I mean you could dab it with gaffer tape but it's best not to get it on there in the first place. Bin liner, we've cut the bottom out of this so it's basically just a big tube. Slide it down over the top and because it's quite slippery it actually makes the whole thing very, uh, or relatively easy to slide on and off. That's far enough to start with. I'll go and get a bag. Okay, it's one of the greeny coloured ones. <clears throat> so this is a bag from, uh, from Ready Traps. They come in a range of different colours, red, blue, white, black, brown, and uh, we had these made specially for, uh, for this job. So it's just a big sack. It has hanging loops on the hanging back, loops on the back. which has got to be the same side that we have our wood on. Uh, and there's a concealed zip, which is always a pain to find. There it is. Because it's concealed. <laughs> right. Where's the back? That's, That's the back. You've got it wrong already. <laughs> Actually, let's just try pulling it straight down rather than robbling it up, because it's going to be tight to get on. Yeah, OK. You grab that side. Yeah. And we'll just feed the thing on. And if you pull the uh, plastic bag down with it, it should all just kind of slide on. This is a bit where we have to swear a little because the plastic bag is catching at the top. There, there we go. You on there? Yep, we're okay. Okay, so now all we've got to do is take out our plastic sleeve and then work this thing up to the top, pulling it seams straight as we go, and then zip her up. There you go. One bag. Yep. So it's good. quite rigid with the uh, with the wooden braces across the, uh, the top and the bottom and the sides, uh, it actually hangs like a very square, neat looking thing and it's not too heavy, which is an advantage in this application. Uh, very quick and easy to do. Yeah. Now it does have straps on the back for hanging on walls, which are quite handy, but if you hang from the ceiling using these straps, they pull out quite a long way and it doesn't look good. So we're just going to screw little metal eyelets into the corners, into the piece of wood that we put in there, hang from that. Okay, we've got three of the panels up now. Uh, trying to do the fourth out of six. I think doing this on the hottest day of the year in the top of the building is not the brilliant idea we've ever had, but it is working, and it's working well. So, eyelets in the ceiling, some string, we've got loops on the back of the panels. We'll thread it through, tie them off, and then we're using tie wraps to pull the string in to tension it to get the height right. So, panel please. Okay, so, through one side first and tie it off. Using your best sailor's knot. My best sailor's knot. Oh. Take a bit of slack off that. Um, in fact, if you can hold it up, I can probably take Get a tie wrap on. So the final part of the acoustic treatment is to hang up a couple of these rock wall panels in the mirror points 
either side of the listening position, one on either wall. Um, the best way of finding out what that point would be, if you don't know in, intuitively, is to sit in the chair, get a friend to hold up a mirror. If you can see the monitor in the mirrors, that's a place for the absorber. So we've finally got to the end of, of the soundproofing job in this heat. Um, we've also moved your sub bass speaker to give what we hope is a more even bass response so it's actually slightly off centre right at the back of the room. And it's on the floor. And it's on the floor so it's not making the uh, structure of your desk resonate. Um, we've also managed to get those nice people at Aurelix to give us some of their mopads which act as speaker isolators and also angle adjusters. And because this desk is sloping down uh, it's enabled us to angle the speakers up slightly. Oh, right. I hadn't even noticed that. Yeah, because the tweeters should always be pointing roughly at your head and as it was these were on the bench pointing down and probably pointing at your navel somewhere so well you're not as small as me so <laughs> <laughs> pointing at my ears <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so hopefully um, it'll it'll work a lot better for you and the room to me sounds drier anyway more even I, I can hear that as soon as you walk in mm. like we were saying earlier um, you get that feeling without even if you didn't look up you walk in here you know it's different you know something's different the ceiling feels closer or further away or whatever but you're not getting that you know that not sense of that you're in a you're in a shed yeah you know? yeah no, i think it's going to make a lot better mixes so uh, just need you to finish off some work and, and see how it all pans out in practice that's the tricky thing yeah. me in finishing it, something <laughs> <laughs> in this weather it's so hard isn't it <laughs> yeah well i liked it especially when you asked about when the air conditioning unit was coming and i said well rather than buying an air conditioning unit I'll just choose not to work in hot days like this. Good plan. And in fact, that's what I did today. I sat back and watched you guys uh, yeah. building up a sweat, making yeah. making my life much easier. <laughs> so thank you for that. Yeah, no, that was good. <laughs> so finally, what's your verdict on the commercial viability of deep fried um, hobnobs in Scotland? Do you think they'd work? Uh, yeah, well, I, I know there's some there's some Italian families in Scotland who own some chip shops. I'll drop the word and just see. Uh, do you want a percentage of it? In terms of product to eat, yeah. Well, I was thinking more like, you know, they'll take the idea and you'll sleep with the fishes. Yeah. <laughs> What's the fish like? <laughs> <laughs>